Hi everyone. Uh, the ball shown in this figure has a mass of 10 kilogram and is attached to the end of a rod whose mass is maybe not neglected. The rod is subject to a torque and you just got a torque as a function and t is in second. Uh, what the, the problem asks us to do is that we need to find out the velocity of the ball at t is equal to two seconds, but we are given that at t equal to zero second, the velocity is equal to two meter per second. Um, this is an angular momentum question. And by definition, we know that angular momentum is equal to h is equal to m times v times r, mass times velocity times the distance. So we need to find that the angular momentum at stage one or step one, or even at t is equal to zero second and at t is equal to two second. So h1 should be equal to h2. So that is uh, m v r at a stage one or at t is equal to um, two seconds is equal to m v r at t is equal i mean at the secondary um and the rod it says that it's subject to a torque so we need to have torque on one side what we need to find out we need to find out this velocity here So this one for the torque we need to integrate it with respect to t and we just got the upper bound and lower bound of integration and it's really easy to solve this question um, so i need to find out the v in the secondary step so i just rearrange the formula to get v by itself so v is equal to I just divide both sides by m r so it is 1 over m r times the torque plus if i divide this one by m r so we are left by nothing but with the velocity or v one so from here it's just easy i try not to skip uh, to skip a step so you are following me what am i doing so the velocity should be equal to 1 over m is 10 kilograms times the 1.5 meter that's the distance um times times v uh, times t which is a torque that is the integration of 3 t squared plus 5 t plus 2 dt and plus v1 was um, 2 meter per second. So I just write down this in integral here for you. Um, if I integrate this one with respect to t, I will get uh, t cubed plus 5 on 2 t squared plus 2t and the integration is from 0 to 2 so if you just sub in 2 yeah you will get uh, uh, you will get 8 here 10 here plus 4 so that should be like uh, 22 and minus and if I sub in 0 so I will get 0 so that I don't want to do it so, um, which I will just, if you just sub in the values which I get, the velocity would be 3.46 meter per second. That is the velocity.